So essentially, at the current time of recording this broadcast, the current value of one Bitcoin is $13,749, respectively, according to Google. Now, this is interesting considering the fact that we are currently recording this transmission for this YouTube show, which I have titled Crypto Clout on November 2nd of 2020. It is currently Monday, and the time is coming in at three hours and four minutes with 47 seconds on the clock respectively now what does this have to do with the fact that bitcoin was invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group of people using the name satoshi nakamoto and started in the year of 2009 when its implementation was released as open source software when we talk about the current supply of BTC being, of course, 21 million Bitcoins that are capable of existing. And, of course, the mysterious identity of Satoshi Nakamoto. We must take into consideration the events that will occur in 2021, as well as all of the events that have taken place leading up to this current situation, where when we search the news and we attempt to gain an understanding about the future of Bitcoin's value and many of the other resulting elements of current events that we might see in the year 2020 heretofore being very interesting for even the most low IQ, the lower echelon of those of us who may be unfortunate enough to not have access to the news. Now that's of course a joke. I would say uh, less information does not equal a lower IQ. Um, now, I know that there's a hot button debate about such a subject, but I would imagine someone of a higher IQ intelligence quotient might approach the wide plethora of information and find it difficult to maneuver in such an environment in an effective manner, which might make it possible for you to look beyond a lot of the different noise and many of the other talks of Bitcoin prices. Uh, Bitcoin um, is back trading near three-year highs and all such information that one might derive from searching on this sort of uh, aspect of the internet. Now, Bitcoin being $14,000 for the first time since early 2018, does the cryptocurrency have the capability of holding on and basically riding out the storm my prediction of course looking at these different elements and of course many of the other aspects of the cryptocurrency scene that we might be able to expect moving forward would point to saying that there's a strong probability that we're going to be seeing some interesting uh, movement for bitcoin and some interesting aspects of the cryptocurrency space, uh, and I would expect Bitcoin's price to go up uh, in in conjunction with that. That being said, remember this video is uh, merely for educational purposes only, uh, more of a short topic about the price of Bitcoin and different perspectives that could be held as far as moving into the future. Now, when it comes to what we'll be posting uh, leading up to the end of 2020, that still remains to be seen um, at a current point right now we're trying to create content for this channel and there's so much to talk about i've been reading articles and really working hard uh, you know and i just want to thank everybody out there who's made this content possible everybody who's helped us along the way and i'll uh, see you guys in the next uh, fully fleshed out video have a good one